I'm a New Yorker, but my passion is exploring caves. I was in Ukraine when I stumbled over some objects. Those objects were someone's life. Western Ukraine was one of the worst places for Jews during the war. We were hiding and mother says, Nissel, you gotta find a place. We cannot live like this. 38 of us descended into the cave. We got down and we started sliding in. <sighs> My God, I've got a playground here. No human being had ever set foot there. We came there almost without food. A glass of water was for a family. We were very hungry. All of a sudden, we hear shooting. Oh, oh. And my mother said to the kids, hide any place you can. Everybody started to run in different directions. They took my mother away. I'll never see her again. The Russians, the Germans, who knows what's outside? The villagers came with the shovels and they filled up the hole. People are screaming, open up the exit, open up the exit, but they can't do it. Three days and three nights, we were working, everybody. And I look up when I see a star. One day I come out, there is this. And we were liberated. So everybody was crying. They survived underground for over a year and a half. I forgot that there was a sun. Here I am! Bang! I wanted to say thank you to the cave. I felt like I'm going back in time. We beat the odds. The cave was fighting for me. They didn't get us. We didn't tell it to others because it was just too incredible. Let's close all the lights for a minute. Ah, no, I feel good.